Get ready. It's almost time for the coolest celebration on earth, the St. Paul Winter Carnival. This year, Winter Carnival celebrates 130 years, dating back to the 1880s when a New York reporter wrote that St. Paul was a Siberia unfit for human habitation. Well, we showed him that we actually get outside and have fun. Thus, Winter Carnival was born. Here to tell us about the 2016 festivities is none other than Her Majesty Aurora, Queen of Snows. Now, Aurora is a member of the royal family led by King Boreas, who reigned over Winter Carnival. Aurora, if I may call you that, mm -hmm. what is the first thing folks need to know about the Winter Carnival? Well, the first thing that people need to know about the Winter Carnival is that it runs from January 28th to February 7th, 2016. The first weekend of Winter Carnival starts out with our Royal Coronation, where the 2016 Royal Family will be crowned, and then kicks off with a Grand Day Parade. And the Winter Carnival ends with the Torchlight Parade and the overthrow of King Boreas. But throughout the week, you can participate in activities at the snow park. There is a family day, kids day, a lot of activities for families to come out to here in Rice Park. The Winter Carnival is always coming up with different events. What's new this year? Well, new this year, there's going to be a King Boreas Triathlon where people can bike, run, and ski. And the King Boreas Winter Triathlon is actually the national championship location for the U.S. Winter Triathlon. There's also going to be a frozen film festival right here at the Landmark Center. And there's also going to be a doggy depot where you can adopt a dog and see a dog king and queen be crowned. As I mentioned, the royal family rules the Winter Carnival, although the god of fire Volcanus Rex attempts to take over every year. You can learn the entire legend at wintercarnival.com. Now, if we could break character for just a minute, you were crowned queen last year in 2015, but her real name is Crystal. Talk about your experience over the last year with Winter Carnival. This year, as a representative for the St. Paul Winter Carnival, has just been an incredible experience. The big reason why I wanted to participate and be a legend character was so that I could go and visit lots of communities and really spread the Winter Carnival legend throughout the state of Minnesota, throughout the country, and even internationally. And so it's been such a wonderful experience. I've had the time of my life, and I am so excited to pass this experience on to the next royal family. Now, some folks may not know, but you were the Winter Carnival's first African-American Queen of the Snows. Was that part of why you pursued this opportunity, or what would you say about that? You know, absolutely not. I have been living in St. Paul my whole life. I was born and raised and educated here. And so I grew up going to the Winter Carnival. My mom took us to the Ice Palace in 2004. And I just have really enjoyed the legend and traditions. In 2010, when I represented another festival, that's when I really learned about the opportunities to represent the St. Paul Winter Carnival. So really, it was just something that I wanted to pursue. And it's been just a really great experience. And it's a great way to give back to your community. So thanks for that. Well, you heard it, folks. Don't be afraid of winter. Get out and enjoy all the fun at the St. Paul Winter Carnival. It's the coolest celebration on earth. Yeah.